Carlos Nelson with the Kansas City Business Association and tonight we have uh, one of our newest members in the hair industry. Who do we have here? Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine. Hey Jazz, tell our audience a little bit about yourself. So what I do is I like to create content focusing on hair care, beauty, skin care, makeup, fashion, and I'm recently starting a jewelry line that is catered towards women and I want to go ahead and branch out and give everyone something that they can experience, something they can enjoy, and something that they can learn and take away from my content. All right, t tell me this, how long have you been in business? Well, I've been doing YouTube here for coming up on three years now, and I will be opening my jewelry line here next week, so not too long. All right. I remember when you first came into my office and you were talking about YouTube and <laughs> long hair and all of this, and, you know, I had been working with your, your mother because she's a photographer and so forth, and I was like, what is this girl talking about? And you, you kept saying, uh, Mom, hurry up. We got to go get my pieces, my hair, and, and, and all of this. Yeah. And I really, I, I seen, but I didn't see. Right. Tell our audience a little bit about your YouTube channel okay. and, and the viewership that you've acquired and a little bit about the travels uh, that you've done with the hair and cosmetic industry. Okay, well, pretty much, you guys, I started doing YouTube because I wanted to inspire people on how they can go ahead and take care of their own hair at home and not have to rely on going to a salon to get their hair done. So I started my YouTube channel for education purposes, and I've been able to grow my audience over 50,000 subscribers here now, and I'm so grateful for all of my subscribers, and I need any type of support I can get. So if you guys would like to subscribe, my YouTube channel is Jazzy J T J A. Z Z I E J A E T. And while I've been sharing and educating people on how to take care of their natural hair, I've also been sharing with people how to keep their hair protected underneath their installations, wigs, and sew-in installations as well. And I've been able to land some pretty big deals with Dark and Lovely, with It's a Tin, with Chi, with so many different brands. And I'm just so honored and grateful that I've been put in front of this platform to share and educate people. All right. Uh, I wanted you to talk a little bit about it. I remember last year, uh, y'all were going to New York mm -hmm. for different shoots and what have you. Mm -hmm. tell, tell our audience about that, the travel yeah. and what have you. Because, hey, audience, when she came into my office, I was like, what's this little girl talking about? <laughs> uh, and uh, I seen a vision, but I didn't see that vision right. because I had been looking to have a, a hair and cosmetic show. Mm -hmm. But she kept talking about this YouTube right. and about how she was doing things. And lo and behold, a year and a half later, worked with her on some things, tried to bring on the network. Mm -hmm. But then I started looking at her channel, and she was uh, producing a prodig prodigious amount of videos, and uh, they were all good, and they had very, very good viewership. Oh, thank you. Uh, and I was like, Carlos, you need to pay attention. Yeah. And then I made a few calls to her and her mom, and lo and behold, uh, when I called last night, she was saying, Miss Nelson, I'm, I got my new jewelry line mm -hmm. getting ready to pop off, mm -hmm. and you're disturbing me. Me and mama, <laughs> me and mama uh, 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 putting that together, taking photographs and what have you. Mm -hmm. And so, long story short, tell our audience about your travels and who who you were traveling for. I know when you went to my hometown, New York, you, you were there to do a shoot. Who were you there to do the shoot with? Well, I was actually flown out to New York with Dark and Lovely, and they gave me a really great opportunity to meet so many different people and just to be in a room with so many different you know, entrepreneurs. It was a blessing, to be honest with you guys. And because I was able to land that deal with Dark and Lovely, I've now worked with Care Care. I've also worked with Meal Organics. And the list What's Meal Organics? Organics. Meal Tell Organics is another African American hair care brand that focuses on natural hair care. So it's basically hair care products that are guaranteed that are it's basically hair care products that are directly for natural hair. So not your weaves and extensions, but your real hair that grows out of your scalp. And, and who was the other company? Give them a plug. Care they working care, with you. Dark and lovely. Tell, 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 tell our audience. Everybody doesn't know what Care Care is. Care Care is also another brand. Avalon, Affirm. These are all well-known brands in the hair care industry. 
that cater towards natural hair, which is something that I focus on on my channel. So even though I have on a wig installation today, I strongly try to give my audience recommendations on how to take care of their natural hair so we can also grow a long, healthy hair underneath by using some of these products that I've worked with. All right. Uh, now I want to go on to a different level. How do you feel about the hair care industry and the African American community, uh, which we use uh, quite a bit of that, and how do you see that from a business standpoint uh, where we're spending our money? From a business standpoint, I think that the hair industry is booming. I definitely do think if you haven't gotten yourself into the industry, it's definitely something that you should consider. But from a consumer standpoint as well, I also feel like these are tools that have been put in front of us to help us grow out our real hair and help us get our real hair on a healthier track. So while we're using the false hair and the false hair products to make a nice hairstyle, we can also protect our real hair underneath and grow our real hair out as well. Hey Jazz, I'm, I'm glad you touched on that because you know what? Every time I get in the elevator or every time I see African American women with uh, the, the hair pieces mm -hmm. and whatever, I'm like, if you want nice hair, why aren't you mm -hmm. taking care of your hair? Right. Mm -hmm. Why aren't, you know, especially you moms out there, mm -hmm. this is for you mom, uh, what, why are you pressing your daughter's hair with them hot irons, burning their hair out at such a young age? I know my family and, and my, my, my ex-wife, you wasn't touching any of them girls' hair, yeah. and, and they had one hairdresser that did it, mm -hmm. and it wasn't no whole lot of hot stuff going on there, and all the girls have nice long hair, mm -hmm. and they, if that's what you want, I think you uh, need to pursue that, and mm -hmm. from your conversation, you're saying you're encouraging mm -hmm. and you're developing products that will help you keep uh, your natural hair, right. and if you decide you want to get jazzy mm -hmm. and put a blonde mm -hmm. or black yes. or some hair right. for a different style. You have the options. Yeah, mm -hmm. all you right. You have the options. So basically on my YouTube channel, I like to educate people on how to take care of their real hair, which means giving you good product recommendations, sharing with you proper tools, proper methods, how to detangle your hair properly, telling you guys and encouraging you all when to properly go ahead and get your ends trimmed, things like that. And I am relaxed, which basically means I have a chemical treatment on my hair to straighten my hair but that doesn't mean that my hair is not healthy because having healthy hair basically means that you're keeping your hair trimmed you're giving your hair the deep conditioning what does the hair. trim do for you the trim removes any dead hair which holds your hair back from growing so our hair grows from our scalp up here it actually doesn't grow from the middle of the hair shaft or the ends of the hair which a lot of people think that it does it's a misconception our hair grows from our scalp and if you keep your scalp hydrated your hair will grow and I like to tell people healthy hair grows so if you have have relaxed hair, if you have natural hair, if you have color treated hair, it can still be healthy as long as you take care well, of it. Well, what's with that trimming? Trimming because my 17 year old, they be taking me to the hair just, I gotta get my ends trimmed. Yeah. What, what, what's that about? Well, getting your ends trimmed allows your hair to grow longer. So if you don't get your ends trimmed, which a lot of people don't think it's important to get their ends trimmed, which stunts their hair growth. So they can wonder like, I don't know why my hair's not growing. I'm using all these good products. I'm doing all of these methods that the people are recommending me to do, but my hair's not growing. I'm not seeing any results. The main reason is you need to get your ends trimmed. Tell me this, how, uh, and I know I'm covering a bunch of things, but that's how we do it over yes. here. Uh, how does that color? A lot of people putting that pink, that green, mm -hmm. and stuff in their hair. How, you know, from your expertise, how does that translate into healthy hair, or what do you have to say about that? Or well, do you have anything yeah, to say? Yeah, I do actually have a, quite a bit to say about colored hair. I know that's pretty much like the trend here lately the past few, four or five years. A lot of people have been going for vibrant, vibrant, vivid colors. And a lot of times, in order to achieve such bright, bold colors, you actually have to strip your natural hair from its original pigment. So a lot of African Americans have dark brown hair. So in order to achieve that bright color, you actually have to remove it and get your hair 
light enough so that when you deposit the color to the hair, it'll actually show up and you won't have any harsh dark spots throughout the hair. It'll be a nice even color. Now, I personally recommend on my YouTube channel, you can play with your hair, you can switch up your styles, you can do different colors and things like that, but it's so important that you take care of your real hair and I do not recommend that you bleach your hair to lighten it so that you can deposit those colors onto your real hair. You can always go out and buy wigs and weaves that are blonde and go ahead and deposit those vibrant colors onto those units so this way you're not harming your real hair and underneath those units your hair is actually protected. So it's Well, that's a grow. tip. That's a that's a tip that I haven't heard. Now you know Mr. Nelson be on the internet <laughs> like a Boy, surfing like a, yeah, boy, surfing I'd be like a ghoul uh, <laughs> surfing, surfing and trying yes. to see what, what's what, mm -hmm. and keeping up uh, with the yeah. And this is what I would say to you because you have your own channel, mm -hmm. but I definitely want you coming on our channel at least once a month to give a tip okay. to our, 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 our people. And what I would ask you to uh, tell some of the younger girls, the high school girls what they should be doing. And what I want to get with you uh, on on a later date is for you because we are, uh, we have that sports network on, on talking to some of the girls that are athletes mm -hmm. on how to take care of their hair. So Carlos, that's really good that you brought that up. I was actually an athlete all the way through middle school, high school, elementary school. And tell and them where you went to college and what college. you did. I went to Grambling State University, the Grambling State University, and I ran track and I pretty much rocked my natural hair. A lot of times on my channel, people ask me like, what do I do to prevent my hair from sweating out? And girl, let me tell you, you just gonna have to get with it. Let your hair do what it wants to do. People are always asking me like, what can I do to keep my edges nice and thick, nice and healthy, and that is is the key. You want to make sure you're letting your hair do whatever it wants to do. Now, if you are in high school, elementary school, and you think that you're grown, honey, you want to wear the grown hairstyles, that's totally fine, but you want to make sure that you're protecting your real hair underneath. And I like to recommend doing something more protective, like clip-in extensions, if you want length. Parents, I personally don't recommend allowing your kids to get sew-ins, but I know we're in a new day and age, so if you do want to get a sew-in installation, I Honestly, I honestly recommend doing it the proper way and not doing a glue in going to someone that's actually licensed on Going to someone that's actually licensed on getting the braids done properly so that they're not too have tight. that skill set Right because there is a such thing called alopecia Which if someone's braiding your hair too tight, you can actually be doing damage opposed to doing something beneficial. How, how important is that because I see a lot of women patting a weave like mm -hmm. this uh, what, what is that all about? So a lot of times women when they're patting their heads like this or moving their wigs like this sometimes that can just be them trying to get their hair underneath comfortable or like trying to reach an itch trying to you know scratch their scalp. And so we touched bases on that that glue that glue job. Mm -hmm. How does that damage or is that good for your hair? Well, it depends on the application process. So a lot of times people use glue for a quick weave. It's basically like a quick installation, but it can be done properly with the right tools. You just have to have someone else helping you to make sure they're actually applying the glue to your scalp and not your real hair. But if it is applied to your real hair, it's okay. Just apply some conditioner before it's time for you to take out the wefts and you won't lose any of your real hair because if you just go in and just try to rip the tracks out, you will be doing way more damage than you will be helping yourself. Didn't I hear something about you going into cosmetics? Well, I do have my hands into the cosmetics field as well, you guys. I work with many brands on skincare. Underneath all of this makeup, I do like to take care of my skin. I've worked with Sephora. I've worked with Yelly Skincare, which is ran by Yandy Smith. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Yandy. She is a reality TV star. And I also partner with Sigma Beauty. If you guys want to shop Sig I know and I also partner with Sigma Beauty. If you guys want to shop Sigma's products, you guys can shop them and you can use my coupon code JazzyJT for 10% off all of your purchases. And I really love Sigma and I really love Sigma's products because they're vegan, they're cruelty free, and that's going to leave the door open for me to start my next brand. Talk which, about that vegan yeah, stuff. Yeah, which is vegan. So I'm vegan and I want to go ahead and venture out into the cosmetics and offer some vegan cosmetics products because that is so important in my life right now. Excellent. So, in closing, is there any other thing that you would like our audience to know about you, your products, and uh, 
Yes, I want you guys to know to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's but Beatrice. she's death on that subscribing yes. people, yes. so please yes. get this, subscribe. get your pen out so you yes. can, all right, yes. give it to I them. I know you guys are always on YouTube looking for more people to watch. Make sure you guys check me out at Jazzy JT on YouTube. It's J-A-Z-Z-I-E-J-A-E-T. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are turned on. So every time I upload a video, you'll be notified when my content goes out. And we'll catch you guys in another video. Remember, we're on uh, Cascade uh, Business Show, the KCBA. And when you invest in your community, you're really just investing in yourself.